pollinator decline is concerning for for us as business owners and um, you know farmers because without active plentiful pollinators we would not have a business my name is lisa hoare and this is um, covered bridge blueberry farm we're in uh, underhill vermont I think people like coming here a lot because um, it creates a lot of memories for them. Uh, a lot of them grew up picking here when they were small children and so now they're really happy to be able to bring their small children here to pick. Uh, so I think that um, holds a lot of memories for um, a lot of our neighbors. Uh, pollinators have a critical role for this business because all of what we grow here um, would not be fruitful without them. Most of the plants um, that we eat are all pollinated by insects, bees um, largely, but lots of other insects as well and, and other wildlife. Um, so without that pollination, we would not have these foods to eat. Here on our farm, we don't uh, use any chemical chemicals at all, um, actually. And, and since we took over in 2020, uh, we have seen an incredibly um, significant increase in yields. It's not to say that we don't have issues with pests and disease, um, but we do practice tolerance and um, we focus more on um, helping the plants be as healthy as they can so that they can use their own defense um, systems. Just making sure to give the plants the tools that they need to survive and to be better able to handle pest and disease issues when they occur. There are lots of things that um, everybody can do to help protect our pollinators, sign the petition um, that you'll find at popbt.org.